I have too many cards. And so when I'm doing my wall, I'm trying to picture one of each guy alphabetized of all the sports and it's pretty much all sports. And just to show kind of a history of the hobby and a kind of an example of some of the cards. So I try not to have too many cards from the same set. Um, so it's not just geared up for advanced collectors. Uh, and, and many of them are autographed, uh, some of which I got in person, but some many, most of which I probably got through trades or, uh, but then I had to get them authenticated. So I've had to get authenticated my own autograph. Uh, I heard probably. about that. Not, not right. Something not right about that. <laughs> Something not right. I had to pay the fee, pay the fee. You're like, just give it to me already. I already know it's authentic. I didn't forge my own signature. Yeah. At any rate, the other, the other problem I have is I have, I have a lot of really fun cards, but it's, it's like when I, I'm waiting for a, a submission from, uh, to get back from BGS of a whole bunch of cards. And when I get them, I'm going to have to, like Mike Moynihan, I'm going to have to redo the wall. It's like, he's got to empty the beast and, and, and reload. Well, I'm going to have that same situation. So there'll be some, uh, and so I've got some really cool stuff in there uh, that, that I'm, that I'll gradually show. But it's hard to just limit it to 12. So these were on top of my desk. Uh, and a couple of them were on the wall that I just peeled off, like the Jackie. So is it one wall then with all the cards? And what no, is there's it? a thousand, there's a thousand, more than a thousand cards. So th this is one, one tenth of it, one, okay. one fifteenth of it. So I it goes know. all the way around. It's panoramic. It's all around this big, big giant room. Oh, that's so cool. And then you have boxes. And if I do my content creator dinner, which you came to the one that I had it that was at the show, but I before that I was, you know, before I was doing podcasts, I was actually I did one when I was doing podcasts, but I'd have a dinner over here in my in my back house where I have a, a kind of a boardroom and a and my card cave. And so the guys came back and could see. So you, you get an idea of it. So if you're if you're in town for one of those and we do that, you know, it's 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 been a lot of fun but like i said it's not geared just for advanced collectors because it's new and old it's not just baseball i've had people that said what is wrestling doing on there and then i've had other people say forget about all this stuff let me just focus where's the rest of your wrestling stuff <laughs> now i see wrestling i see boxing baseball football i'm trying to get you know i don't think i've got cricket i, I may have one lacrosse and one cricket just to have it but i i need some help on that i'm not you know, little, tiny bit of soccer, you know, I, I really was pretty eclectic, but it was mainly stuff I was doing price guides of. So I would have a type of the card. And uh, so it's, you know, what you were saying about it, it's, it's not easy to get up to speed unless you know your lane. And yeah. if you know your lane, then you can, you can concentrate on, on getting up to speed in your lane. But if you don't narrow it to some lane, you're going to, I don't know that you'd be miserable, but it's, it's pretty impossible.